Hello everyone and welcome back to another Wasso Show video review. So today I'll be taking a look at the Phoebus Voyager. So some of you may know, Phoebus is a Hong Kong watch label that mainly specializes in a uh, more affordable uh, tool watch, mainly divers, and the Voyager is their latest offering. So let's take a look. So right off the bat, uh, the Phoebus Voyager uses sapphire crystal, so it's virtually scratch proof. There's also three layers of anti-reflective coating applied, so you, know, you won't get most of the nasty reflections that you might get if there was an AR coating. In terms of water resistance rating, it's rated at 300 meters, so you can bring this to the pool, you know, to the sea, even dive with it without any concerns. It comes with a screw down crown as well. Yeah, on to the movement itself. You, uh, you can't really see the movement because it's through a closed case back, but the, the movement that's ticking away inside the heart of this Viager is the Workhorse Seiko NH35 movement. So if you know you're if you're a fan of affordable micro brand watches, the Seiko NH35 movement shouldn't be any stranger to you. I would say it's one of the best movements available at this price point. It's a workhorse movement. It takes at 21,600 bits per hour, has 24 jewels, 42 hours of power reserve, and it's hacking. So if you were to unscrew the crown and pull it out, you can see that the second hands uh, stop. So the hacking function of the Seiko NH35 movement is probably its key advantage over the Miyota 8 series movement, which is the, uh, which is the alternative movement that you might find at this price point. So yeah, very reliable workhorse movement, comes with a date function, quick set date function, you know, hand winding and everything. So yeah, kudos to, absolutely no complaints on my side on Phoebus choosing this movement. Great pick for a 200 plus USD watch. Yeah, and on to, you know, the bracelet itself. So actually the, the Voyager comes on this sort of Jubilee bracelet. And I must say it's pretty well uh, machined, you know, it feels solid. Often, you know, with cheaper watches, with bracelet, the, the links are hollow, but you can feel that they are, they are solid here. They have good, have good weight. Comes with a uh, very nice clasp. You can see that uh, it's brushed with the Phoebus uh, logo at the top. There's even like a few holes for you to micro adjust in case for you to just get the right fit, right? The full over push button deploying clasp also is a very, provides a very secure feel so you can hear the very secure click when you fasten it and of course you really see it by simply pressing uh, these two buttons to the side there's even a bit of like beveled uh, polishing edges here so it's, overall I would say it's a, it's a pretty good bracelet in fact I would say that's probably one of the best bracelets I've ever seen at this price point you know, overall a very solid very well machined uh, bracelet just look at that branding and that polishing and that brushing. It's that secure feel. Not often, you know, if if you have, if you have interacted with some of the cheaper Seiko knife watches, often the bracelet is where the let down is. You know, it feels finicky, it feels cheap. Here on the Phoebus Voyager, absolutely none of that. A very sturdy, very well constructed bracelet. Yeah, but of course. It, the, since this is a Phoebus watch, it should come as no surprise that you know the specifications are great. What comes as a surprise, at least for me personally, is how much I fell in love with the design. Look at that. Look at the sunburst blue you know, texture. Look at the way it catches the light and morphs in different uh, lighting conditions and angles. It's a beauty to behold. Let me see if I can bring it even closer to the camera. There you go. Look. It's not just your usual sunburst down, you know, there's a there's a graining to it, there's a texture to it that I think is is simply fabulous. It's really captivating. To be honest, you know, when we think of Phoebus, I don't really think of original design. You know, they started off making homages, but over the years have progressed to introducing more original designs. And I think the Voyager is really encapsulate all that years of hard work in terms of uh producing more and more original and innovative design. It is, I did not expect to like the design as much as I did, but honestly, wow, when I tried it on the wrist, when I saw it in the metal, it really blew my mind away. Aside from the gorgeous sunburst textured dial, you get also applied indices. The applied indices are pretty unique as well. So now that camera is focused, you can see it's sort of like a talon-like or claw-like 
shape, which again I've not really seen before. So that's a nice touch. Uh, there's a date window at 6 o'clock. Uh, I like it at 6, it balances the symmetry of the dial. There's also the little red uh, text, automatic in red. So it gives the dial a nice pop of color. Yeah, overall a very, a very nice, a very nice dial. Look at the way it glimmers. Beautiful. Aside from the dial, another thing that I really liked was the bezel. When I first saw this dial configuration with the bezel, you know, it immediately reminded me of the Rolex York Master 40. It's a very similar vibe in a sense. Of course, being the same case size, having the same uh, bit blasted bezel over here, which you don't really quite see, I think, on dive watch, affordable dive watches at least these days. If you look at affordable dive watches, which they come with your usual aluminium, uh, ceramic, sometimes ceramic, acrylic, Bezel. This sort of bl bit blasted finishing, not quite. You have the raised uh, numerous here, very nice touch. This is not a countdown, a countdown time uh, bezel, so you won't be able to measure elapsed time with this, at least not accurately. So I wouldn't recommend it as a dive watch. However, I actually prefer this 12 hour bezel here because it allows you to use the watch to sort of indicate a second time zone, essentially giving it a GMT function. So to me, that is a more practical usage of this watch and the bezel, then uh, elapsed time bezel, countdown bezel that I would never use because no one, no one dives this like because at least I don't dive with their watches these days and I think most customers that purchase this one as well the bezel itself is pretty good you can see that, it's, that there's not much play it feels pretty solid you can hear the very satisfying click as well it's a 120 click unidirectional uh, rotating bezel so yeah very nice touch as well um, my only grab is that it's a bit small, so it can be a bit hard to rotate, but again, you know, you're not going to rotate it much anyway. Yeah, moving on to the case side. Uh, if I, if, you know, up to this point, I would say the Voyager has punched really far above its price point. But if there's any portion of the watch that, you know, belies its cheap pricing or more affordable pricing of only 220 plus USD, it's definitely the case. So the case, as you can see, is pretty much... Simply, uh, simply polished. There isn't much finishing uh, done here. There's no contour and texture, there's no bevel edges, there's no you know, brushing or whatsoever. It's just a very simple, very spartanly finished case. Again, I don't mind it. This is a 200 plus USD watch, but you know, this is where I think an area where the low price point shines through and not in a good way. But we do get a nicely signed crown, as you guys can see here. The Phoebus logo is a very nicely sized crown, crown guarded by a false crown guards. You might notice the way you know the the case curves towards the crown guards. We might is reminiscent, of course, of the iconic Rolex dive watches, Submariner, Yacht Master Forty, etc. So there is that inspiration there, especially when it comes to you know the crown guards. Yeah, on to the back. The case back is uh, nothing special, you know. It's, I mean, it's not bad for, again, a 200 plus USD watch by simply a nice motif and all artwork of, you know, the Phoebus logo with some relevant specifications engraved as well. Yeah. All right. With all that said and done, let me put this on the wrist and show you how it wears. Look at that. Really wears very well. So as you guys might know dive watches nowadays are moving towards uh, bigger and bigger dimensions but I'm glad that Phoebus stuck to a more wearable 40mm here so the watch is only actually 40mm wide and it rests I would say really well on my 7 inch wrist it's a nice you know, everyday uh, tool watch feel to it and it's really and the bracelet I mentioned the bracelet is really well constructed so it feels really comfortable on the wrist um, it's a bit thick, I, I wouldn't lie, being a dive watch, it's, it is a bit thick, so it is about 14mm thick, so this I think this won't be one that you you want to wear you know, with a suit and tie, but otherwise as an everyday tool watch or some as a beater watch, I, I think it, it wears very well on the wrist. And overall, I must say I really like the watch. If, I know I said this before, but I think this is my favourite Phoebus watch to date. Specification wise, you know, you get everything that you ever want. Sapphire crystal, 200 meter water resistance rating, you know, great loom, which, I, which you can see in my written review, a workhorse, NHD5 movement, and yeah, it has rock 
solid specifications. Design wise, you know the the blue down especially, although there is an intriguing brown down brown down one as well. But this blue down especially it really captivates uh, me. But it's not just for the dial. The bez the bezel is in is nicely designed as well. You have the intriguing uh, indices and the bracelet as well is very well constructed. So I can see that they've put a lot of thought into the watch and I think it shows. In fact, at this moment of you know publication, I believe that this particular blue variant is sold out. So I think that just goes to show how well this watch uh, has been designed or has been made. Yeah, so if you're interested in you know the Phoebus Voyager, or in any one of Phoebus watches, can use the promo code WASOSHOP for 10% off. And after the after the 10% off, you know, the this particular Phoebus Voyager would only be 242 USD or about 329 Sing dollars, which I think for the design, for the price, for the specification, you now is great bang for buck. And I think it's a no-brainer. If you're looking for everyday tool watch or everyday dive watch at about 300 Singapore dollars or about 250 USD, you know, this is, I would say this is my number one pick. And there you have it. All right, that rounds up my video review for today. There'll be another video review out tomorrow, so do check that out if you're interested. Thanks for your attention. Remember to subscribe. Ciao.